This video is going to use the supply and demand framework to look at how wages are determined in an industry. Like there is for products, there is a market for labour, with households supplying their labour and businesses demanding labour. The price for labour is the wage rate. And the quantity of labour is the number of workers. The demand for labour is downward sloping, just like it is for the demand for products. At higher wages, firms will demand less labour because the cost is too high relative to the revenue that each worker provides to the company. But as the wages fall, businesses are willing to hire more people. The supply of labour is upward sloping. As the wage rate increases, more workers will be willing to supply their labour in this particular industry. The interaction of the supply and the demand for labour will lead to an equilibrium wage rate of WE and the number of workers who will be employed at this wage rate will be QE. If the wage rate is higher than WE, for example if it is at W1, there will be an excess in the supply of workers. So we can see here this is the demand for workers and this is the supply of workers. So we have an excess supply of this amount. An excess supply in the labour market is too many workers who are looking for jobs. So an excess supply is the same as unemployment. These unemployment work, unemployed workers would be willing to go to the, uh, to the businesses hiring and say the workers that you're hiring you could replace with us and we'd be willing to work at a lower wage rate and the wage rate could fall from W1 to W2. Businesses would be happy to do this because they're always trying to maximise profits, which they do by minimising their costs. We would still have an excess supply of this amount. Supply is greater than demand by this amount. And this would continue until we reach the equilibrium wage rate. If the wage rate was below the equilibrium wage, for example, if it's at W2, we're going to have an excess in demand for workers. So households are supplying this much, but businesses are demanding this many workers. The business doesn't have enough workers in, uh, for the amount of produ uh, products that they're trying to produce. So to try to entice more workers, they will increase the wage rate. And this would either encourage people to work longer hours or encourage people in other industries to come into this industry. You can see here we still have a bit of an excess in demand for labour by this much and the wage rate will continue to push up until it, each, each, uh, until it reaches the equilibrium wage rate. This is in an ideal situation but in real life the, wage, the labour market isn't this flexible and we'll have a look at some in some other videos the, the inflexibilities in the labour market that prevent us from re reaching the equilibrium wage.